new guy, Little Soldiers. Little Soldier dumps for cost, keeping in mind, but he can't dump someone that's at the same level as him. So you'll dump an eight, and then it'll get you uh, into the combo. And also the graveyard effect, you can banish it, and you can make two gimmick puppets, uh, increase level by four. But that's about it. He's the best, one of the best normal summons alongside the field spell. Let's go. Second best normal summon is old school uh, Terror Baby. You gotta play two. Uh, I guess if you draw it, it's a little weird. Because uh, you don't get a whole lot. You get two additional. You get a normal summon for turn and a normal summon in a combo. And this card's not once for turn either. Uh, but it's good in grave. You get it when you uh, use the link to search. You'll search this and then get the additional normal off the exceed. Uh, it revives a gimmick puppet from grave. Uh, and then it has a graveyard effect, you can banish it to make your opponent uh, can't respond to your gimmick monster effects. Pretty broke. Stops like Ash Blossom if you can dump this first so you can't get Ash to the new girl, which is three of the uh, Rogue Doll. Uh, this card's broken. I think it's literally a one card combo, I think. This, this can be, but I'm still new to the deck, so I don't know the full one card combo for so like every scenario. But what it does is you activate it, you reveal it, uh, an Exceed monster in your. Uh, extra deck and then it'll summon from the deck whatever has that uh, rank at, on the level so if you reveal an 8 you summon an 8 plus this if you reveal a 4 you summon a 4 plus this what do you normally reveal uh, depending on the hand like if you already open up um, if you already open up little soldiers you reveal an 8 any of the 8s uh, and then you'll summon out uh, another card about the show but if you don't open up a uh, soldier you reveal the four, I mean the rank four, which is the only one you play, and then this is how you get into uh, get into the four, which also is another dump, mm. which essentially makes it a one card combo for the most part. Neat. And then it has an effect uh, if it gets sent to grave, except from hand, it can add itself back. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, it is. So under the link link two, it, it's a free it's special summon off of it. Uh, and then I play two of the cattle scream. This is another new card that came out. Let's go. Uh, well, this is so it's a, it's basically your, your eight your uh, level eight extender. Uh, what it does is, well, you, uh, you can activate the effect from hand or grave to detach the material from an exceed monster. And you control it and it'll summon itself and it gets banished and leaves the field. But it can also summon itself to both uh, either your side or your opponent's side. And normally, this is, these are the ones that you're revealing off of your exceed and summon it from the deck. If you open this, you can reveal another uh, another level 8, so it doesn't matter too much. This has a hidden effect that no one ever activates because I ain't never activated it. Uh, the monster has this material, can summon a monster from your opponent's grave to their field. So essentially, you can help uh, put extra bodies in your opponent's field to burn for more damage. Huh. But essentially, you don't have to play. I've seen most of us play one of this, but I like two because I'm not playing the horse card, so it works itself out. The next one are the OGs. Um, uh, Dreary Doll and uh, Abyss Doll. So Abyss Doll is just an extender, and it also helps you uh, prevent targeting. But in some grave, you can banish it. For the turn, your gimmick puppets can't be targeted. This one's an extender. You can just banish gimmick puppets from your graveyard and summon it. And it's just giving you two extra additional eights. And this summons by discarding gimmick puppet from hand. But usually, like depending on what your hand is, uh, you can summon it off. You can summon any one of these off of uh, off a of rogue doll, or you can fool the shit off of um, little soldiers to help uh, set up your graveyard. But that's literally it for the OGs. And then onto the best broken one card in the deck is the Philpo. Oh yeah, baby! The Philpo, it, it's the Philpo unfair. I a lot of you. So on activation, you add any gimmick puppet. And then while it's on the field, your uh, gimmick puppets are unaffected by monster effects, activated monster effects, except exceed monsters. Which nine times a ten, your opponent is not gonna have exceed monster on the field anyway. So you can just if they if they have like imperm and stuff like that, that's the imperm and ash are really the only cards that can kind of interact with the deck if you don't open field spell. But it has a second effect where you can detach a material from uh, an exceed monster, target a gimmick puppet in your grave, and summon it to your opponent's field. And that just gives you the extra burn that you need for doing the FTK. And then you gotta have ways to get to it. So way where there's a will. Yeah, this was uh, chicken game. Chicken game is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, but we never play that card because uh, if your opponent, like, if you have to do it or your hands get weird and you have to activate it and draw, <laughs> it's just rough. Your opponent can't die because they don't take any damage. Or if you have it and didn't get away to the field spell and you activate chicken game, uh, you paid a thousand, or you start burning them and they don't take any more damage after they, uh, their life points get low. So it's just how to play this card anyway. That's fair. Well, this card is actually kind of crazy though. I actually drew, I activated it going second and drew into uh, Little little Soldiers, which was a full combo. I still lost, but it just helped me get oh, yeah, me the into the game. That, yeah, yeah. So, and then Terraform is Terraform. Yeah. All those cards. And another old school card is Condemned Doll. God. This card is just, 
Is this Sigourney? old? Yeah, this car is actually old. It's like a three dollar car. Wow. Uh, so what it does is, when you activate it, it's a foolish burial for uh, gimmick puppets. But going second, if your opponent controls monsters from the extra deck, it go, it's plus for each one that they control. So essentially, you can dump up to two or three gimmick puppets just off of one card. And that's a graveyard effect, which I ain't never been using. Should be. You can banish it and uh, choose a target of Exceed Monster you control. It can't die by card effects while it's face up. So, and it lasts the game is while it's face up. But like this, I've seen is also one card combo, but I don't know. I, I never get it around to actually be able to do it. Uh, the next card, so I play two rake up spells. The reason you play two rake up spells because you don't want to draw this card. If you draw this card, your combo is a little weird. Because you need the exceed to detach the search this card to get the additional normal summon. Ah. So uh, every game I lost sometimes is because either one, I didn't know the combo completely, or two, I drew this card. So I decided to put it up too. Yeah. Uh, and I cut the uh, scissors so I could play two of this. Ah. As those are those. And then you play one of the trap. If Ooh. you ever activate a trap, you probably lost anyway, so we don't care about it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, like Yikes. you activate this card, bro. The game's probably be down bad. Over. Yeah, like it just it, that means we passed. <laughs> basically, you really didn't have to camp. So since it's what is it's snatch is a snatch steal. You just take your opponent's monsters based off how many exceeds you have. It has a graveyard effect that you can banish it and summon an exceed for to either side of the field. But that's it. Yeah. You already lost the game, bro. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we have some non ninja slots. Uh, this yeah. is what I decided to play. So we play two Valor, two Ash, two Droll, two Moonlit, and then two Emperor. Why all the twos? Uh... So we played all the twos because we played. Uh, the card that says we don't want to lose is going to play cross out. So you don't lose the nib if you don't have field spell, obviously. You don't lose to, like, Droll can hurt you. So, like, these are the pro most problematic cards that in, like, Imperm. Uh -huh. So, like, you don't want to lose to an Ash Blossom, but that's why you play uh, Terror Baby. If you have the ability to dump Terror Baby uh, off of Condemned Doll. A puppet, yeah, yeah. Then uh, you can activate this, and they can't respond with Ash Blossom to stop this card. So that that's one way. But like ultimately, it's just like I'm just crossing out and hope, hope to God I can play the game. Fair enough. It's FTK, so I want FTK. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the last couple cards, I also play Call by because I'm not trying to get out. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I had to find room to play Droplets because going second, you you can literally Droplets for four and still play the game. And then like it's just changeable. It's good going second or going first card, but like it is what it is. And then it's 41 in the main. Okay. So the extra deck real quick, you play two of the link. So this is part of your combo after you do your initial exceed plays. And what this does is it just lets you, um, you have to activate it, it's not on summon effect. You search a gimmick puppet, you can add its hand or dump it, and then you can special a gimmick puppet hand. And usually the card you, the one you always wanna add, like you wanna add like any one of these, if you open um, uh, a Terra Baby. But Terra Baby is your main target that you're gonna have to search off this, so you're gonna get your additional normal. To keep mm. playing the game, but yeah, this card's good. Uh, you probably can get away with one, honestly, but two is just fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else you'd play. <laughs> uh, there's stuff. I, I don't know. Uh, I just think two's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one uh, rank four. You never summon this. I've never summoned it. You only use it. What's to it reveal. do? I don't know. Let me be honest with you. You only use it to reveal off this to summon. Oh, uh, oh so he's just there. Yeah. Okay. Like he has an effect, but no one cares. Oh, fair so enough. I'll fair never act there. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gets no love. And the two of the new guy, this is the, bro the, the broken part of Captain America. Of the new deck. So what he does not, I wish he was on summon effect so he can be protected from like moonlit, imperm, stuff like that. But he's not. But you have to activate his effect and then you search the rank up spell. And then since you did that, you get additional normal for the turn. Oh, wow. So, like if you have hands where you didn't get to get this, but you're able to make this, you can be able to summon this again, it's combo, stuff like that. And then. It, he has a graveyard effect when you exceed summon to a five or higher. He can summon himself back and then add back the rank up spell again. And if you don't know the rank up spell has an effect, when you exceed summon a five or higher, it adds itself back. So you essentially get three rank ups. But that's about it. Yeah, and he's a 3100 booty, so he's pretty strong. And then we play two more of the um, the FTK cards. It's old school. I'll call it Feet Puppet. It's the grinder. See the foot. Nah, it's crazy. But like. This is uh, not once per turn, it's uh, twice per turn to pop a monster on your opponent's field, and if you can see it, it burns for the whole attack. So this is how you this is how you kill your opponent um, in the FTK. Where's the other uh, secret at? They didn't have one, so we gotta go with the, the rare. Oh, fair Fuck enough. Fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> um, next to like OGs, we play two strings, 
also part of the combo. Uh, you activate the effect detached material, gives every face up monster on the field uh, string counters. That's literally the only reason you play this. And the reason you play is you play uh, two of the other new guy. Mm -hmm. On summon, he searches for a puppet trap. So you literally just search up for uh, the card you're probably losing to anyway, because like you never yeah. activate this card. But yeah, you search this card. Then what? On summon, and then it has uh, two other effects. You can detach the materials, perhaps summon a gimmick puppet to your opponent's field. And then another effect, if a monster is special to your opponent's field, you can activate the effect to burn them for the attack of the monster and destroy it. And that's just how you uh, cap off the Kill. last little bit of damage. Yeah, yeah. And then I play one of this, never summon it. I don't what know does why he it's do? in here. Uh, essentially the same thing as the other guy. Uh, uh, as. Uh, oh, yeah, so. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's his chaos form or whatever. Uh, but you detach, pop. And this one can pop any card on the field, on your opponent's field. But if it's a monster, it burns it for the full attack. Oh, that's cool. But I never summon it. So yeah, it never, it never oh, comes yeah, up. yeah, yeah. But essentially, it's there. Because why not? It's a given And then the, the best card that lets you just kill everybody Woo! is this card. It's got like $5 now. $5? It's crazy. Whole dollars. Yeah, five whole dollars. Five that ain't even expensive. But like, so what this does is on summon, on special summon, it pops all monsters on the field that have a puppet, a, a string a counter. counter yeah. And then you draw a card. Not once a turn. And then it burns them for the full attack on the monster that was on the field, whoever's the, the highest you choose. North if it's a tie. So essentially, uh, You'll, your first combo is to summon him. You'll summon him, give him a string count of affected this, pop this, burn him for 31, find a way to summon this back, give it to your opponent, pop it, burn him for 33, and then summon it, another one back off his effect and pop him and burn him for uh, 1650, which is uh, 8050, I believe, something like that. Hey, that's pretty good. But yeah, not once per turn on the effect. So even if it doesn't have material, it also can give string counters, but you don't necessarily have to do that. There's yeah. a line, combo where you can do it. I don't know it. You look like a combo. Yeah, this is a combo. Crazy. Yeah, but yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. That's it for that guy, and then my side deck is just like whatever. I don't want to get shifted, so I cross it out. Let's go. Uh, two, two nib. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Three bell, uh, bestial stuff you like that. To, you have you to. You get bestial one time. I swear to God, it's probably game oh, yeah, over. Can't forget the bev. Or <laughs> yeah, can't get the never, never, never. <laughs> but like, it's all right. I actually won a game because I uh, stopped the bestial. My opponent mold charm me. I think you've seen one of the videos. He mold charm me, and I bestial it. And he drew like three, two or three cards. Uh, one of them was a bestial, and I was like, oh, oh. lordy. But I had Bell for it, so it didn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still lost the match because, you know, Fair. game's wild. Lightning Storm Duster, just back row stuff. Uh, even the match because you go in second, you it's rough. Uh, you also have to remember, your monsters are big, so you can play Skill Drain in this deck. Because, like, all your exceeds are, like, roughly, like, 3,000 plus, like, 33, 31. And the field spell is nice because then they don't die by battle. Like a spider!